In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve working together problems. The question reads, Don can finish the monthly sales report in two hours less time than it takes Adam. Working together, they were able to finish the sales reports in eight hours. How long does it take each person to finish the monthly sales report alone? And we're expected to round to the nearest minute. What's interesting about these types of problems is that once you set them up and start to solve, at first they don't look like quadratic equations, but they turn out to be. And to be honest, they're more difficult than the typical quadratic problems that you encounter. Let's start by setting T as the number of hours it takes Adam to finish the sales reports on his own. We're also told that Don finishes these a little faster than Adam. So I'll say that the time it takes Don is T minus two because it takes him or her two less hours than Adam. So the rate that it takes Adam to finish a sales report, let's call the number of sales reports R. So the rate for Adam is R over T. And the rate for Don is R over T minus two. Notice that we've just generically chosen the letter R to represent the sales reports. When they work together, essentially these two rates are being added up. So let me show that. R over T plus R over T minus two. And this will equal to the number of reports finished per eight hours. Of course, we don't need to write down hours once we start to solve. So adding up the rate of Adam plus the rate of Don gives us the amount of reports produced per eight hours. As you can see, we have R here, here, and here. If I divide every one of these terms by R, what ends up happening is that this R and this R will cancel out. So we actually end up with an equation that looks like this. Now we have to solve for T. To solve for T, we find a common denominator amongst all the three terms here. The common denominator is found simply by multiplying all three of the denominators together. So we have T bracket T minus two times eight. So I'll multiply this term, this term, and that term by t bracket t minus two bracket eight. Multiplying this term by that, we get t minus two times eight. Notice that we don't have a fraction anymore. By multiplying this factor to this term, it goes from being a fraction to something that's not. And that's exactly what we need because it will help us solve. Multiplying this term by these three factors gives me t times eight because that and that would cancel out. And multiplying this to that gives us t bracket t minus two. Now this still doesn't look like a quadratic, but what's interesting is that if we expand here and here, then rearrange, you'll end up with a quadratic. Here's what I mean. Eight times t is eight t minus 16 plus eight t is equal to t squared minus two t. I'll bring all the terms to one side, making one of the sides equal to zero. So I'll take that over and take that over. Eight plus eight is 16, plus two, once you bring it over, is 18 t. Bringing that gives us negative t squared, and we still have that minus 16 is equal to zero. Because we have a leading negative number, we can multiply everything on the left side by negative one to eliminate the negative. I'll do that just to simplify things. So t squared minus 18t plus 16 is equal to zero. At this point, you could try to factor this by trial and error, but you'll find out that it doesn't work. You'll need to use the quadratic formula. I'm assuming you know how to use the quadratic formula. So in that case, I'll use a function on my calculator, which will give me the solutions for t. If you don't know how to use the quadratic formula, I suggest you watch one of our videos on that and it will help you out. So to make things easier, we click mode, five, three, and we type in the leading coefficients. So for this, it's one, type in one, minus 18, and 16. We get two solutions one that's 
17.06, and that's hours. And another solution, that's 0 0.937. 0 0.937. I'm going to scrap the second solution because it's not consistent with what we set these as. For example, I said Adam is T, the time it takes Adam to finish his work. So if we say it takes him 0 0.93 hours, for example, then Don would be 0 0.93 minus 2, and that's a negative number, and it doesn't make sense. That's why we'll only be using 17.06. With that said, Adam takes 17.06 hours, and I know that I have to switch 0 0.6 into minutes, and I will do that in a moment, while it's 17.06 minus 2 for Don. How do I make 0 0.6 in minutes? Well, remember, 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So all we have to do, technically, is convert 0 0.6 using this conversion ratio. If you don't know how to do that, just pretend we have 0 0.6 hours times 1 hour at the bottom and 60 minutes at the top. And you'll see that the units cancel out 0 0.06 times 60 is 3.6. So it takes Adam 17 hours and 4 minutes because they want the nearest minute, we round up, to finish. Whereas it takes Dawn 15 hours and 4 minutes to subtract 2 hours from that. And there you have it. That is how to solve working together problems.